the final key part of working with keynotes um, is updates. Um, <clears throat> so you can work with these on the fly by clicking this keynote editing button here. And what that will do is that will enable live editing of the note that you have selected. So you can see uh, it's showing us the details in there. So let's modify one of the ones that's placed. So we've got 303 concrete topping. There we go. So I can come through and modify this here. remove that last part and as you can see immediately in my tree here that's updated so it's been edited live um, but my labels haven't updated yet uh, and you can you can edit as many of these as you want live in here so let's uh, modify another one while we're here just so that you can see it 104, retaining wall, make a change there and again you can see that hasn't updated yet so um, <clears throat> this is just another part of the process of working with keynotes is that uh, if you've been making some changes or even if you haven't and you just want to be sure uh, we've got this audit option here and if you click on that what it will do is it will run through and it will find anything that needs changing. So this is telling me that uh, on the ground floor there's an instance of 30303 which I have changed uh, and then on the ground floor again uh, there's an instance of 80104 which I've also changed. Uh, and so you can go through here and easily see what changes were uh, and where they are so you can go and find those uh, if you want to if I choose this change here and go zoom to it's going to select it and show me where it's placed and if I select this one I can zoom to it and see where that's placed as well so you can really easily see what the changes were and where the changes are actually placed in your project um, and if you need to you can either modify the notes or modify the placed instance or whatever um, if it's simply that you've updated them though you can just hit the repair button if I deselect that hit the repair button it'll just run through and update everything and you can see now that those notes have been updated to show the changes and now if I jump into my schedule that should have updated already and the schedule just needs to be updated by updating the schedule and you can see that's changed there as well. 